Hallelujah, children of God. We're going to press to success today. I want to share this message with you. Hallelujah, saints of God. I wanted to come in and share a brief message with you. I'm driving back from Atlanta after meeting some of my dear friends from South Africa, Doctors Lovemore and Kier Menaka from South Africa, GBCS alumni and professors, pastors of thriving churches. Such a blessing and such a wonderful fellowship. We've been communicating for years uh, online and Skype and video chats and it's just wonderful to take, to have the opportunity to connect with them real life and in person, took it to a whole new level. I just want to talk today a little bit about the faithfulness of God and not to get comfortable in your success or comfortable in failure. That's always something to press toward children of God. No matter how successful you are, there's even greater levels of success. If you failed in some areas of life, then there's a new opportunity today to, to succeed in that area. I was sharing with a Dr. Monaka today, uh, one of my favorite pastimes is golf. And uh, I was sharing with him that uh, we have a par three golf course that we put together at Paradise Village. And that the object of a par three course is to take the least amount of shots to get into the hole. If you hit three shots to get in the hole, you've averaged par. If you take two shots, you've birdie. You're one step ahead of the course. And I was sharing with him that oftentimes, sometimes our first shot may not be the best shot. Somebody else's first shot may seem to be, put them in a better position for success than you. But there's always the second and third shot. You have to complete your opportunities before you measure success. Some of you may have had an errant first shot and you may find yourself out of position, they call it. But I want you to know, stay focused or refocus and make the second and third shot count for you in life, in ministry, in relationships, in every area of life. The first shot is not your only chance for success. And I want someone to grab a hold of that today because some of you are about to give up. You're discouraged. You're feeling low. You're feeling down. You're feeling out when God is saying this is just a testing season to test your fortitude, to test your resiliency for you to stay in the fight. God is faithful to you and he wants us to be faithful to stay the course, to seek God's counsel, to seek his will, ask for his power, his provision, his favor upon your life. I want someone to say out loud with me, God grant me favor. I think about the prayer that we call it a prayer of Tibet where it says, Lord, will you bless me indeed and enlarge my territory? Hallelujah. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I, I, I believing that for those in the listening audience today, I'm believing that for my friends, my, uh, the, the members, the students, the f fellowship members, those that we come into contact with. And also, I want to share this with you. Don't overlook little persons in life. Now, first of all, there are no little people in life. We're not talking about stature, but we're talking about little in the area of importance or things as such. Sometimes you may go through the drive through window at a fast food restaurant and you may consider that person little. You may consider that person a person that you don't have to really acknowledge or be kind to or show courtesy to. But I want you to know God expects us to show courtesy, favor to the least of these. Uh, one of the things the Holy Spirit ministered to me about right now while we were at the airport in fellowship with my uh, beloved friends, uh, we ordered some coffee and the ladies behind or the young girls that were behind the counter taking our order preparing the food you know i, I really felt that I, I maybe i missed an opportunity to sow hope into their lives in the way that i have wanted to i uh, want to ask them uh, if they could accept tips and just give each one an equal tip just to be an impartation in their life i'm talking about a financial tip 
also could have given them spiritual tip uh, also about how to um, uh, tap into the things of God. But, but I don't want you to miss your opportunity today. If there's something prompting on your heart, and I pray the Holy Spirit help me to get over the hump so that I, I respond in the moment to these types of opportunities because I believe that God wants to bless us as we continue to be a blessing to others. God wants to prosper you in every area of life. He wants to prosper you and wants you to be in good health even as your soul prosper. So I was going to wait till I got home to uh, to my office to record this message in a nice little quiet environment. I'm driving now so you may hear some of the background noise but God, the Holy Spirit says don't wait to, to, to speak forth uh, this encouragement to somebody who may need it today and, and plus no moment is promised to us except the present moment. So right now, allow God to use you. Allow God to, to birth the creative energy, spirit, and favor that he's placed upon your life. You will never discover what God can do in your life if you always play it, what we call playing it safe. You're always looking to be comfortable. You don't want to be pushed. You, you, you may not want to go through any level of uh, suffering in order to uh, allow God to do something new in your life. Today I want to speak into and over you by the power of the Holy Spirit that each of you, or each of us, myself included, would allow God to enlarge our territory and our mind and our body and our soul and our finances and our businesses and now God to prosper us in extraordinary ways that really we, we, we never would have allowed otherwise. So sometimes, listen children of God, sometimes uh, unusual circumstances may proceed your breakthrough. Sometimes God has to do things to get us, get our attention, to cause us to pause for a moment so that we can reset and listen and hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to us. I believe that somebody listening right now is in this season. You may be going through uncomfortable things, may seem like you're under attack, may seem like you're going, uh, having extreme warfare around your lives. That's a great indication to seek God more deeply right now. I believe God wants to do something new in your life. He wants to do something that's good in your life. Everything and anything that God does is good. So if you're looking for some breakthrough, something good to happen into your life, then listen. Train your spirit now to listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you and trust Him to lead and guide you into the place of fullness and wholeness in areas in which you have never even opened up and given God an opportunity to do so. Today, let that be a change. Let this be a season of newness in your life. Hallelujah. So prayerfully, God will use this message to encourage someone, bless someone, strengthen someone. I'm expecting God to do new and exciting things in your life and in my life as well. Bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You've been listening to Seed Time and Harvest with Bishop Lyndon Hutcherson of Amazing Grace Ministries. We were blessed that you tuned in to today's message and look forward to connecting with you in person or on future podcasts. Feel free to reach out to us for more information about our ministries by visiting our website, Amazing Grace Ministries, at www.agministries.net.